one of my favorite slept on species that nobody even really knows about. Look how cute these little faces are. I'm so excited to have them. So we got five of them. Oh my god, this is so Are you ready? What's up, YouTube? What's going on? What's up, babe? It's too early. It's not early. It's 10 a.m. Early is like 7.30. It's like in the day already. We gotta wake up, babe. Wake up! Getting some new snakes today. We're on our way to FedEx. Getting some new snakes. I'm super pumped about today's video. I've been, oh God, these little snakes are about to get just wait. It's easy and beautiful. She doesn't like it. I always say things are like, you know how I say like relax all the time. Things are easy all the time. She doesn't like when I say easy. No? No, it's rude. It's easy though. It's making me feel stupid when you're always saying easy. It's mean. Well, when things are easy, I say that. Nice. All right, well, look where we're at. We're at FedEx right now. Let's go get these snakes. I know we are going to record it, okay? You're going to record it for me. All right, so we were going to wait till we get to the house. I am going to wait till I get to the house to tell you guys about these snakes. But let's open up the box real quick. Let's take a quick little look before we get over to the house, and then I will explain more about them. They're one of my favorite, favorite species that I used to keep years ago, and I'm really, really excited to have them again. Okay. All right. Let's see. Real quick, before we go home, Gotta just make sure that they're okay. I'm so excited. Holy crap. Elephant trunk snakes. So cool, man. They used to be all over. Oh my God, they're so tiny. So we got five of them. Oh my God, they're so cute. Holy crap. Just look at how cute those little tiny faces are. Oh my God. Oh, look at that little puppy dog face. Oh my God, they are adorable. <laughs> oh my God, all right, let's get home, get these guys set up. I can't wait to take them out and show you. I'm really excited. Dude, these guys are so freaking cool. So, elephant trunk snakes, guys. Acrocornis javanicus is what these guys are. So there's three different species of these guys. Um, there's the smaller, they're also called file snakes. Now you can find these guys in Southeast Asia, Thailand, even Northern Australia. Very, very, oh my God, they're so freaking cool. Oh, look how cute these guys are. Holy crap, let me get a couple of them out. Now I'm setting up just a little quarantine container for them just to make sure that they're nice and healthy to keep track, make sure that they're eating, just to make sure that they're nice and healthy before moving them into their main tank. Now, a lot of times, a lot of things that you wanna look for, that looks like some poop, but there's actually this like white fungus that can grow on these guys, pretty much from the wrong water parameters that you wanna stray away from. But these guys have been being kept properly by this guy, Chris, that I got them off of. And just look how freaking cute these little snakes are. Oh my God. Dude, just take a second and look at how amazing these little guys are. Look at those scales. So crazy. So another really cool thing about these snakes, look at their tiny little beady eyes. And you can tell they're just unlike any other snake. They're meant for water. These guys are literally live their entire lives underwater they do not come out for pretty much anything look at that just saggy little wet sock looking body got those really cool stripes and spots down their side and look at those scales now these scales are very much like sandpaper and they're designed to eat fish. These guys only eat fish exclusively. So they have to have these really coarse scales. You see that? They almost feel like sandpaper. Now the reason for that is because 
they need to be able to grab slimy fish and stay a hold of them and constrict them so they can eat them. So obviously they are not venomous. Another really cool thing about them is notice how their bellies, there's no ventral scales at all. They pretty much have this weird sandpaper skin, these tiny, tiny, very fine keel scales along their entire body. Really, really cool. Such a soggy looking little snake. Oh my God, I love them. They're so freaking cute. Look at that. God, those little faces. Look at that little face. Holy crap. So cool. All right, so I need to get their little quarantine container set up. Now, like I said before, so they are fully aquatic snakes. So we want to get this quarantine container set up properly. Decorating all the cages are getting uh, Halloween decorations. Nice. The gators tried eating them the other day. So what we need to do to get this water prepared is they like nice tannic water, okay? Because they're used to being on the forest floor. Oop, let's not lose one. We need to use these almond leaves because they give it like this nice black water vibe that you need. You want it to be higher pH level. They're not really that active of a snake. In the wild, they're very slow and lethargic and they're ambush predators. So they just sit there, they wait for fish to come around and then they ambush attack them to eat their food. Look how freaking cool these little snakes are. One of my favorite slept on species that nobody even really knows about. Look how cute these little faces are. I'm so excited to have them. Now, another really cool thing about them that's really hard to see with the naked eye, but they have these little tiny hairs in between their scales also. Now, they're these pretty much these tiny little sensory organs that feel vibrations and stuff in the water. Just really helps them hunt better and find their prey. So cool these guys the javaniscus these guys are the largest of the three species the smaller one um, being very hard to find and a little bit more on the brackish side um, and then one is even considered people say that they're arguably extinct so we're very very lucky to still have these amazing little animals gotta make sure they stay inside the thing excuse me get back in here please now this is the quarantine container keep in mind i'm going to be setting up a really really nice live planted tank aquarium for them probably like a 50 gallon at first until they get a little bit bigger two of these or one of one or two of these are actually for my buddy johnny um venom life what's up so yeah i'm pretty freaking pumped let's get these guys put away oh yeah look what we got here too little tutor we got him soaking in here. We named him Tootie because we were trying to come up with a name last night. And I guess I, uh, I farted. So Gianna was like, ah, oh, perfect. Look how cute this little man is. Hey, dude. Little tiny red foot tortoise that my buddy Lewis that I tattooed gave me. You guys have seen him in another video, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned way more on elephant trunk snakes here shortly. They're going to be in quarantine for a couple weeks. Make sure everything is nice and intact. Make sure that they're eating and they're doing very well. And then we're going to be cycling their new tank, which I'll be setting up here shortly. So stay tuned for that video and we'll be learning more about elephant trunk snakes ASAP. Okay, so until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you are not, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and check out the website, tylernolantattoos.com. Go get some merch. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.